crossing. They're looking forward to continuing their adventures of the previous summer, but spring break in March 2020 is very different from what they planned. Here are a few scenes about their unexpected visitor. Ginger began, so Aunt Lila, we have a little visitor, a mouse or something? No, a little boy, a neighbor? Ah, I said, that's Olivia. Just say it, we accidentally brought a little winter's boy from 1919 and the key won't work to take him home. Ginger covered her eyes with her hands. Plus he's wearing us out. He must be very frightened, Aunt Lila said. How old is he? Not even five yet, but he's very mature. I put some cereal on the shelf. Mature, Ginger said, he's precocious. He should have a philosophy block. Earlier at lunchtime, they had this conversation. Is it time to eat? Nate asked. Sure is, Ginger said. What about vegetables? I saw some carrots and celery sticks. I put the milk on the table for somebody else to pour and went back to the refrigerator. After we sat down and said grace, Nathan took a drink of milk. He screwed up his face. This isn't milk. It is too, said Jake. It looks like milk, but it doesn't taste like anything. Ginger said, I'm sorry you don't like it, Nate. Our milk has a lot of things done to it to make it healthy for us. He picked up a, a carrot stick and took a big bite. He made the same face, chewed and swallowed. Do you have anything that tastes like food? Aiden said, try the macaroni and cheese. I got up, got a glass and filled it with water from the refrigerator door. Nate said, this stuff is pretty salty, but it's not too bad. He reached for the water that I had put next to him. After taking a drink, he shook his head. Even your water is tasteless. Poor you. After lunch, Nate drew a picture to put in the box with our note. They were going to send it back to his siblings in 1919. He was finished by the time we put the dishes in the dishwasher. Why are you putting the plates in there? This is where we wash them, Ginger said. Why? So they can get clean. Why don't you wash them in the sink? This is easier. It doesn't look easier. Ginger started to speak, then bent to push the starter button. Nate covered his ears when the dishwasher began working. It's noisier. I held out my hand. May I see your drawing? He gave it to me asking, do you like it? It looked like a TV with a ball inside. Those lines are nice and straight. Tell me about it. It's the food cooking in that thing. He pointed at the microwave. The others came to look. Jake said, that will make a nice memory of your visit. Do you have any toys? Nate asked. Jake said, I can show you a game on my tablet, like a drawing game. I'd better just show you, Jake said. Let's go up to my room. They ran off. Ginger said, I'm worn out. I don't think I can answer any more questions for a while. I looked at the dishwasher. You have to admit, maybe using a machine isn't that much easier than washing dishes by hand. Aiden asked, and is our food really flavorless and too salty? We should have given him chicken salad. Let's go see if he likes computer games. When we got up to the top of the stairs, Ginger stopped us and whispered, let's sneak up and listen. We went quietly to Jake's door and stood against the wall. That's it? Nate was asking. They're all alike. No, they're not, Jake said. The first one was like a puzzle. The second one had little monsters eating each other. And this one is a maze with cars. Late Nate let out a loud, exasperated huff. They're all flat pictures moving in a box. How is that fun? They're fun to me. Don't you have any real puzzles or toy cars? Why is everything in a box? You cook in a box, wash in a box, and play in a box. Nothing tastes good and nothing is fun, his voice shook. I want to go home. Nate, Aiden went into the room. Jake, where's that top we found earlier? I left it in the dining room. Let's go play with that and when we're finished, we'll take the ball outside. Do you like to kick a ball, Nate? Jake came out and nearly ran into Ginger. That kid wears me out. 
Later on, outside, they asked, um, Olivia asks him, I've been wondering, Nate, do your parents ever took a, talk about the good old days? Oh, yes, all the time. The good old days before the war. The days when there were no cars downtown and you could leave your horse in front of the store without anybody bothering it. Even my brother and sister talk about the good old days before the Spanish flu, when we could go anywhere and do anything without worrying. He sighed and looked at me. I don't remember any old good old days at all. Then I guess we better make sure you have some fun today, right? Jake said. And for the rest of the book, they have fun staying indoors. So 1918 and 21, 20, 21, 20. 20, 20. 20. Yeah. Whatever it is. Whatever. Yeah.